Hi, I'm Ian Bradford. I am a surgeon and I started my career in the South African medical system and then I came over to the UK, trained as a surgeon and specialised as a colorectal surgeon. And I've been working in the UK for about 25 years before I finally saw the light and decided to come to New Zealand. Um, my journey here started with a colleague telling me that he was moving over here, a gastroenterologist, I thought, well, if he can do it, um, I'm sure I can as well. So my journey started with an email to Accent Health Recruitment, to Prudence Thompson, uh, and that started a, a huge series of dialogue between us. Um, and I've been now in New Zealand for just under a year, uh, having a fantastic time. So I can tell you that my journey started with emails, but it's uh, certainly ended with a huge amount of happiness. Um, this has been a huge change for the better for me. I worked in the NHS in the UK um, and had a brief experience in South Africa, so I had some idea of what different health economies were like, different health systems. Um, I also had a year in Hong Kong where I worked on a fellowship in surgery. So I felt quite empowered having worked in a few different health systems before to come over here and see what things were like. and and to adapt because I think the difficult challenge for most people coming to a new country or a new health system is that adaptation. You have to unlearn a lot of things you've learned before. Um, but when you get here, there are a lot of similarities to the health system, but you have to unlearn some of your preconceived ideas about how health should be delivered, what the economy is like, what the expectations of patients are like. So I felt very equipped to come over. It was very easy. Um, a lot of logistical difficulty though, you know, don't underestimate how much logistical difficulty there is in getting licensing, police clearances, certificates put together, it's a huge amount of work. But um, we were advised by another immigrant doctor here before we came that it's going to be painful to get yourself ready to come over, but once you do it's absolutely worth every bit of it. So working life in New Zealand is quite different to what I was used to in the UK. Partly that's because of the different health system that I'm in here. I'm mostly in a private practice system, which is going to be a bit different to public health. Um, I don't have quite as many duties as I had in the UK. I don't have quite the same number of responsibilities to other people. It's really just a responsibility to my employer and to my patients, which is fantastic. You know, I can really focus on what I trained to do, which was to become a good clinician. All the additional bits, like becoming a leader of a team, a trainer, somebody who's responsible for the public purse, looking after budgets, the longevity of the hospital you work for, that luckily for me has all been put aside after many years in the UK. Um, so I have a very, very nice work-life balance. I, I'm very privileged to have great staff to work with. I'm lucky that I've got a great hospital with all the facilities that I want. Uh, nothing seems to be too much of an effort to get it. Um, in terms of the working day, my working day starts early, um, probably around about 7.30 to 8 a.m. and that's quite the norm out here. People do start quite early, especially in surgery, where it's fantastic to be able to get underway quickly and early in the morning. Um, as regards the end of the day, I work quite late hours, but that's because I love what I'm doing and I wouldn't say that that's necessarily what everyone would have to do. Um, but what I notice about work-life balance here is that the Kiwis seem to have it really, really spot on. Um, quite often, come five o'clock, the end of a normal working day, the offices are vacated. There's a mass exodus of people leaving and they go out to go and start living life. And it's the one huge transformation that's happened in my life. You know, in the UK, you would work and work and work and you'd go home in the dark, often in the winter. Um, and even in the summer, the weather was never really quite fantastic enough to go out and enjoy life. But here they seem to really understand that Work is a means to an end, and that end is to go out and enjoy life. And if there's anything you've heard about New Zealand, of course you'll have heard about the fantastic outdoors here. I mean, I've been rejuvenated here. Um, I never had the energy to go and do things after work or on weekends back in the UK. But over here, it's a bit like my youth reinvented all over again. It's a bit like South Africa, where the weather was similar, the culture was similar. You know, we've gone diving, we've bought kayaks, we go running, we go out for walks on beaches, 
And where I am in Christchurch, we've got the best of both worlds. You know, you can be on the beach in the morning and on the ski slopes in the, in the afternoon. Um, not quite as literal as that sometimes because, of course, you're a bit tired out. But what you'll find is that everybody here has an outdoor enthusiasm. If it's not sport, it's some other kind of recreation, whether it be fishing, kayaking, surfing, tramping up in the hills. There's an enormous number of things you can do and you, you feed off the enthusiasm of other people wanting to do much the same sort of thing. So I would highly recommend that you think seriously about coming over to New Zealand, especially if you've thrown your weight behind getting into your career and you're not happy. This is a fantastic place for both your career and for your lifestyle.